morning, everybody. Here coming to you from Horseshoe Canyon uh, Shelter, where I slept last night, right there. Mudfoot was in his tent. Mudfoot, you said it was hot? Yeah, I was yeah. hot. You were hot, yeah. and uh, Joe slept comfortably in that hammock? Oh, yeah. Yeah, mosquitoes get to you last night, Joe? Were you mosquito hunting last mosquito night? mosquito hunting, and I actually managed <laughs> to squat it on the first time in the mid-air. <laughs> it was glorious. Perfect, perfect. And uh, the young couple that was here, he made a fire, so it was beautiful. And uh, I got lucky. The other young guy here, Ghost, uh, gave me a liter of water so I didn't have to hike back down a half mile to get water. So happy to go. Um, we got nine miles into Monson today, and then we get a whole day and a half off. Yeehaw! <laughs> All right. Got to get rolling, everybody. Uh, again, today is day 180. We're headed into Monson, where we're going to stay at Shaw's, which is a pretty famous hostel. So one of the last ones available to you on the AT. I guess you could go into Millinocket. Um, we're meeting Gail there, uh, and we're taking uh, a last zero there, and then we have legitimately seven hiking days left. Six hiking days. Six, no, eight hiking days, including Summit Day. So it's pretty exciting for us. Um, Anyways, uh, as I get views today, if I do, I will share. Gotta get rolling. This morning's hike is following this river down uh, almost all the way, I think. Uh, so it's fairly level. Uh, you can see a couple of stealth camping spots right there where people have stayed. Um, I'm out in front of Mudfoot and Joe this morning. Not by intent, just Mudfoot stopped to get water and Joe wanted to take his raincoat off. And, just kept hiking but it still allowed me some some free thinking time and reflection time here and uh, it's just been really cool i can hardly believe i get into monson and i got 115 miles to go to the end of this and uh i remember reaching the top of albert mountain and back way back in georgia and it was 100 miles and i was like wow i've gone 100 miles uh, now I'm going to go just shy of 200, or excuse me, 2,200 miles. So it's a different perspective. Um, gained a lot uh, while on this trip. I've, I've lost a lot while on this trip. Lost weight. Um, lost some bad habits that I had built up over years. And gained some new positive ones. Uh -huh. But uh, this experience has uh, had a positive change for me um, in so many ways, physical, you know, emotional, spiritual, all that. And one of the things that I'm really taken back by is the kindness of so many people toward myself and my group and then certainly all my fellow hikers. Uh, that there's... You know, we watch the news each day, and it's really only negative that's reported, but I've witnessed thousands of kindnesses out here every day by everyday people. And uh, without without uh, prejudice, just they just want to help. And that's awesome. And uh, I couldn't be thankful, more thankful for... My beautiful wife, brave, <laughs> uh, doing stuff that she hadn't done. So I think there's been some growth for her. You know, my friends, people that have cheered us on uh, the whole way. And believe me, uh, those little notes and through the videos, text messages, phone calls, those those mean everything to us out here. They just keep us going. Um, and uh, so anyways, just another way of trying to say thank you to everybody um want to let y'all know that again once i get in a hundred mile wilderness it's easily we're going to take six days probably to get through there seventh day to get to the park and then the eighth day to summit so there may be a week-long period where you won't see a post and i apologize but uh there will be uh eight videos, uh, one for each of those days that will get posted once I 
can get some internet. So just be patient with me. And uh, I certainly want to give you guys all the experience I can on the trail. Uh, for those that may want to hike it in the future. For those that may never get to hike it. For those that just like following along. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to do my best in regards to sharing that experience. So, uh, been told by southbound hikers that good chance of seeing more moose. So, looking forward to that, and uh, I'll keep you posted. All right, I gotta get rolling. Okay, this is a uh, hundred mile wilderness cabin. <coughs> They're located just um, outside of Monton, and uh, easy to get to off the trail. There's a sign that says. Uh, 3.3 to Route 15 or 2 to Monson. If you turn right at the sign to Monson, they come right out to the 100 mile wilderness cabins. Very cool. All right, gotta get rolling. Sitting in the lawn. Oh, I scared him by talking. Oh, that sucks. Oh well. That one doesn't seem like he's too scared. Little button buck. All right, gotta get rolling. Look at this. Pretty little quarry that uh, was developed here. Water is, it's hard to see from the phone, but it's clear as a bell. Great swimming hole. All right, we're about a half mile from Shaw's. Oh, I know what else I wanted to show you guys. Look at this yurt over here. Someone's made a um, cabin out of a yurt. And it's off that stone pile over there. So pretty cool. All right. True Gotta Hiker Paradise. Jay is getting his <laughs> last pair of new shoes here at Shaw's. And uh, we picked up Big Old Bear's boxes. Um, okay. Big Old Bear sent these here. And since he got hurt, he donated them to us. So thanks, Bear. Uh, we love you, man. We miss you. All right. And uh, we're waiting on Mudfoot and Gale. Pretty cool. We gots to get rolling. Mm -hmm. 